Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to go over how to locate an event within Triple Seat, as well as review all of the corresponding information that goes with that event. There are multiple ways to find an event within Triple Seat. The first is to type the event name into the search bar located at the top of my page and click on the event to view more details. If I can't remember the full name of an event, I can do a partial search by typing out what I can remember with an asterisk, and Triple Seat will fill in the rest of the search for me. When searching, I also have the option to include lost and deleted events. If I have an event that canceled a few months back and now want to reschedule, I can easily search here rather than having to look back in the calendar. When I click on these events, I will have the option to recover and add them back to my calendar. The calendar is another area where I'm able to search for events. I can use the search bar within the calendar to search for a specific event name for that month. If I need to adjust the month or year of my calendar, I can do that here. If I click on an event from the calendar, I'll see a pop-up where I can view additional event information. For instance, if I need to quickly reference the menu for an event, I'm able to access event documents right from the calendar. From here, I can either click view or edit, depending on what my needs are. The last option for searching is within the events tab on the left. Here, I will see my events listed chronologically, and from this page, I can view some of the basic information, such as date, time, guest count, location, and status. I'm able to search by name on this page as well. I can adjust the date range of events that I am seeing, changing this drop-down to view upcoming events, all events, or events within a certain date range. I can also filter on the right to narrow down the events I wish to see. When I click on an event from this page, I'm taken directly to the event details page. I will notice there are multiple tabs I can navigate through, depending on what action is needed on this event. The Details tab holds all of the basic event information, such as contact info, guest count, ownership of the event, when the event was created, and some basic event financials. Heading over to the Documents tab, this is where I will come to build out my contract and event order for every event. On the contract and event order, I will add all of the pricing for the event, as well as important event notes. This tab is also where I will share the documents with my guest or my staff using the share button located to the right of each specific layout. The discussion tab will show any email discussion history between Triple Seat users and the guest at this event, as well as all internal staff discussions on the event. On the payments tab, I can view the grand total of the event any payments that have been added, as well as their paid status and the total outstanding balance. On the Tasks tab, I can see any outstanding tasks with due dates and who the task is assigned to. Here is where I would come to add a manual task or reminder of an important to-do for this event. The Notes tab will allow me to input any information I need to share with my team pertaining to the event. This tab is internal only. My client will never have access to view the information within the Notes tab. Notes are date and time stamped, as well as reportable, and I am also able to edit these notes if need be. Finally, the Log tab will keep track of major activity on this event, noting which users are making which changes and the time the action was completed. At the top right of the event page, there is an Actions button. Here, I will have the ability to share the event with my customer, which means sharing the guest portal link via an email discussion. I can also copy the direct link to the guest portal to send in an external email, or click on guest portal to be directed to the guest portal. This is especially useful to help my customer navigate the guest portal as I am able to see it exactly as they can. On the Actions button, I can also copy or delete an event keeping in mind that deleted events can be recovered through the search bar at the top. 
To the right of an event, I'm able to attach any files that pertain to just this event. Maybe I have a floor plan specific to this event or a tax exempt form I need on file. Anything event specific can be attached here to use during the event process. Any floor plan integrations I have, like Mary or All Seated, for example, would show up underneath the attached files with the option to create a floor plan for this event. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to the support team, support at triplesate.com, or by clicking the help question button at the top right corner of any screen in Triple Seat.